We found almost $8 million total that he accepted from foreign governments while he was serving as the president of these United States. But we're concerned about the president's son, the president's son who has not been involved in his administration. I just want to run it back, though, to the very beginning because this is something that I just can't get over. I can't get over the gentle lady from South Carolina talking about white privilege. It was a spit in the face, at least of mine as a black woman, for you to talk about what white privilege looks like, especially from that side of the aisle. And let me quote your now ousted speaker and what he had to say about the Republican Party and y'all's lack of diversity. When you look at the Democrats, they actually look like America. When I look at my party, we look like the most restrictive country club in America. So let me tell you something. Y'all don't know what white privilege looks like, but I'm going I'm to show you a little bit of something. You see, you want to talk about a two-tier justice system, and this is the only time that y'all have ever referenced it when this country has a history when it comes to black and brown folk of having two separate sets of rules. And right now what you want to do is have two separate sets of rules because Mr. Moskowitz offered y'all a fair situation. He said he would vote for Hunter to be held in contempt if y'all voted to hold all, even if you remove all of the members of Congress, there's still other people that y'all haven't decided that y'all have excuses for, but y'all don't want to hold them in contempt. But for some reason, it makes sense to hold Hunter Biden in contempt, who has tried to comply. And let me tell you why nobody wants to talk to y'all behind closed doors, because y'all lie. That's just the bottom line.